Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this VB Bright Mini Projector. That's the VB Bright F10. As we can see, there's a VB Bright F10 and a F10 up. So we have the normal F10 here. It's a portable projector with full HD. 1080p support but i think we have a native resolution of about 720p it comes with 2800 white light and it yeah, can be used as a home theater with uh, almost everything like phone stick laptop ps4 and the really crazy thing is it is not much more than $100 at the moment. So check the link out down in the description. Uh, the thing is really nice now. The price is absolutely amazing. Maybe there's even a coupon there. So if it's there, just use it and it could even bring down the price even more. So even without coupon, of course, a really nice price at the moment and it's a good thing to take advantage of that especially before christmas would be a nice gift anyway for christmas i think it's still time to buy it and get it for christmas so let's see what we get here so this is how this looks from the back with everything here all the connections and there are a lot of information but I'm not going to show you this here. Maybe we get some kind of quick instructions inside. And yeah, so let's open the box and see what we get here. So this is how it looks inside. Very well protected. So you don't have to fear when you get it. that It will be damaged. Uh, that's a good thing. Here we have the power adapter. So I've been taking everything out of the plastic so you can see everything what we get. We get this small nice booklet here which explains everything. So there's not too much information so you don't have to worry that you have to read for hours before you can use it. So just here as well for the remote control. Since I'm not sure if you can really find all the information online, I'm still going to show you the instructions manual. It's just a couple of pages and it took maybe two or three minutes, but it could be worse. I mean, maybe you're buying this and there are no instructions uh, included or you lost it over time or you want to look deeper into that before you make a buying decision I just don't know if you can really read everything I'm trying to get as close as possible still showing you everything so I hope it's nicely focusing could be a little bit a challenge to read everything so yeah that was still a little bit too close now uh, yeah hopefully there's everything readable if you're going to the highest resolution which usually is 1080p on my videos and it's focusing nicely it should be possible uh, to read that especially when you are pausing this at the right moment so you have plenty of time to read that i've put some extra light and yeah that should hopefully help here and that's the remote control and yeah here we have the power adapter and the cable with this standard cable here the remote and of course the thing what we want that's the project and it's really small i mean it's not one of these super small super portable things which cost you a fortune it's something nicely between and definitely not as heavy and not as bulky as we were used to have them so that's a pretty good compromise in between really uh, already pretty small lightweight and super cheap that's a huge thing and we also get these standard tripod mounts so you if you don't have space 
for permanent installation so you can use it on a tripod and here we have this to elevate that that's something which i really like with my old projector i had to screw almost four hours and so here you can do this pretty fast and yeah we have the cover here you can watch really powerful light nicely protected here then the probably the focus a few buttons and here the connections for the earphone two times i think that looks like usb then hdmi and the power i mean that's actually everything what we need so let's uh yeah let me check on the instructions very quick and then we'll connect it to the power and then we'll see how this works yeah let's look first a little bit at the projector itself we have it here i mean on the side we have this fan of course i mean what can you expect at this price i mean loud it's just when you're pretty close when you're further away it's not so much of a problem anymore and yeah in the front it's not as bad on the right side is not as bad the worst is on the left side so just avoid sitting on the left side and it will be good i mean yeah here we have all the connections which we need we have the one the usb stick with the mp4 we have the power for the hdmi here i'm using a chrome stick as you can see to transmit the uh, picture here which you can see and that could be a normal hdmi cable of course that doesn't have to be a chrome stick anything really works so i'm putting the camera on top of the projector which is of course the worst thing which you can do but uh, i mean you get the best picture and yeah i'm yeah i'm really limited with this space here i'm trying as good as i can do so yeah by the way i wanted to show you as well here that what you can do with the picture i can hope i can show you that as well so here we have the focus possibility to focus you cannot focus too close i mean but you can of course focus as far as you want i would say you can go as close as about hmm, let's say three feet or so i hope it's more or less okay like that so i would say maybe three feet so but it's definitely uh, more than enough here with the keystone correction so which we have here we can uh, adjust it a little bit so i hope you can see that a little bit the top is now a little bit uh, na more narrow and now I'm doing the opposite and that's as far as it gets uh, as you can see it's pretty limited so not much which you can do no fr no fancy four angle uh, correction I mean but usually it should be possible to get a nice picture and as long as you are more or less straight I don't see any problem here so I'm stop playing that so what I'm doing I'm using the remote control because it's a little bit easier and you can see everything so here we have the source on the remote control and we can go to the USB I'm trying to play something from the USB here so we can we have the possibility to play video so I'm clicking on that and hope it will find it so we have three files here and i'm picking the one on the right side which should actually be the same thing as you have already seen and but now it's not playing from the hdmi stick now it's playing from the usb stick and you can see it's playing it really nicely no um, yeah no lags no nothing and it's a pretty large mp4 file so it looks like it's not struggling with uh, yeah latest codecs or whatever you are using with the mp4 i haven't tried with uh, the h265 but definitely h264 works pretty good 
and everything all right i mean yeah you still can hear the sound i mean i can increase the sound level here and hope you have been able to hear that so the loudspeaker can be really loud which is a good thing and when you go a little bit increase the volume of the sound you, you won't be able to hear the fan anymore or you just go a little bit further away so you have some options of course and especially if you're using that for like an action movie or playing games from the xbox or ps4 it shouldn't be a problem with the fan i don't see any problem I, yeah for me the colors are pretty good when we take into account how bad the background really is and you can imagine that it would be really nice without that so the only thing which I really can offer you is the back of a painting on the left side. Now you can see the black spots anyway. These are not coming from the projector, that's from the back of the painting. But you can see now the difference when you have a nice white surface instead of a rough um non-white surface so it's a huge difference and already much better of course it's only 720p it is not true 1080p but it's supporting the 1080p output which is great so for me it worked really good to set it up the whole thing so it was really nice and easy nothing which you have to read instructions for hours i mean you could buy this and make this as a gift for your children for christmas they unbox it and they are playing already with that 15 minutes later i can guarantee you it's it's as easy as it really gets with this control thing you can do actually almost everything you want you can increase the volume and you can also fast forward or go back whatever you want as you can see we can go fast forward or stop and play again so it is really good the good thing is also when even when we are playing a video like this we can still go to the menu here the menu which we have here and we can change some of the settings like the language or the picture mode we can change it to user defined vivid standard soft whatever we want to have here let me go back with this button here always we can uh, go back to the menu uh, change let's say color temperature aspect ratio reduce display sound mode we have surround sound as well which we can use yeah we have here so many settings uh, which we can do regarding color and sound and we can flip the camera as you can see i hope i can do it back now yeah um yeah now we are back <laughs> okay we can restore factory defaults or make a software upgrade of course you have to download first the new firmware on a usb stick but you can see i mean on the left side you have a really good impression how clear how sharp and crisp the whole picture is now it's not even perfect it's still only a, the back of this painting and it's on a very short distance and the room is not even dark and so really some of the worst setup which you can have and it's already really good uh, yeah i would say this is a really a simple project i mean there are more advanced uh, projectors where you have more options where you have maybe a more quiet fan and so on maybe a higher resolution more brightness but then you are talking about maybe three four five hundred dollars or even more and uh, we have to take into account this is only a little bit more than one hundred dollars yet yeah, just check 
uh, the price the current price maybe you'll find even a coupon at the moment for Christmas I mean this is something which almost everybody can afford and it still works it's it, it, it really works right out out of the box and you can use it for almost everything with these adapters uh, I mean with the HDMI plug and with the USB stick so you can put everything on the USB stick and then get it playing and have a really nice movie night or whatsoever so I didn't want to let you go like this and so I installed the projector in the living room where I had a much larger distance as you can see so the image is much much larger and the distance larger it's way further away so this is like a real world usage and it worked absolutely great even when it was not totally dark but you can see the wall is still the same i mean there's no difference you still see these bad spots coming from the wall the spots are not coming from the projector it is only coming from the wall so you can definitely see that the image would be really nice if you had a nice smooth white wall so i can highly recommend and i'll put down the link to the listing of this product on amazon into the description down below so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time